For EMI classes, here is a useful template on how to organize your class. Keep in mind that for each of these steps, you'll need to consider duration of how long each will take, and also any textbooks or materials that you will use. First, have a warm-up where you prepare students for the class, perhaps focusing on a few English vocabulary terms or grammar points that they will need in order to understand the lesson. Create a handout, PowerPoint slides, or brief activity to review key terms. Your warm-up shouldn't be too long, maybe 10 to 15% of your overall class time. Next, you can do a mini lecture on your topic, being sure to include student support for helping them learn during lectures. Your mini lecture should be no more than 15 minutes. Third, you can do an in-class interactive activity that will allow the students to develop both their English skills and their content knowledge skills. Allow as much time as possible for this step, and you can do more than one activity if time permits. And finally, finish class by regrouping to summarize the content at the end of class. Remember that you can have a couple of rounds of mini lectures and activities as long as you have enough class time. For example, in our water cycle example, you might do the warm up with key terms, then a mini lecture on the topics of precipitation and surface runoff, and then an interactive activity, such as having students discuss a case study in small groups. Then you could do another mini lecture on groundwater and evaporation, and an activity such as working in small groups to label a diagram before moving to your regroup and summary activity. So the third step in your lesson plan is identifying any assessments that you will do during the lesson. For example, maybe you will do a formative assessment during the in-class interactive activities. You could give students a chart to complete during class in small groups and collect the chart at the end of class time to determine how well students are learning the content. So let's look at that learning objective again and think about if this lesson would help us meet our instructional goal for the students. By the end of the unit, students will be able to discuss and illustrate the six parts of the water cycle of their geographic region and appropriately label each part in English. Yeah, I can see how this lesson would help students meet that objective. In the following video, we will give more detail on how this lesson planning process works with examples.